dear colleagues, what I will try to uh, show you today is a case that I encountered. One of the operations that I done, a cataract surgery on a 53 years old woman that uh, had an interesting uh, feature on it. She had like a rubbery membrane right underneath the anterior capsule and uh, I was trying to first uh, do the capsularesis with the bencystotum was very adherent to the structure underneath and I thought that's just another type of uh, intumescent cataract so I proceeded with the uh, Gris Haber uh, and finished the capsularesis right uh, by the time I started the faculty mystification I thought that rubbery membrane at the beginning of FECO didn't try to peel it off, couldn't come out so I push it aside, finish the FACO emulsification and then I try to deal with that uh, membrane uh, trying to take it out and um, was very very uh, did uh, the whole sac and anterior membrane so I tried to push it, it came, uh, was like uh, coming with the whole sack, so I uh, st stopped doing the traction and uh, you will see in a second what I'm talking about. So we finish focal emulsification and right here you can see the membrane right at uh, between uh, 11 and 2 o'clock so I with the grease harbor forceps I am peeling I'm pulling on the membrane as you can see it's very rubbery it's kind of taking the whole sack if I will insist it so I stop doing that I spread the cortical matters with the um, Aspiration needle and then with two Of course the posterior membrane was also fibrotic and with two grease harbor forceps this time uh, the serrata tip I tried and uh, Finally succeeded to break it off and uh, remove it And you will see in a moment here that It's kind of uh, tricky way to take that off but uh, finally I was able to do it very elastic and very rubbery type of uh, tissue have that uh, membrane uh, I introduced the IOL in the bag. Uh, in the beginning I wanted to take care of that uh, posterior membrane fibrosis with the vitro cutter but uh, that I thought that it would be better to just take it out with the YAG laser later on. So um, and I usually do at the end of the surgery some triamcylonone to take care of the inflammation that sometimes you can get from FECO and uh, by the time the surgery is done all that triamcinone is washed out and of course for patients that uh, uh, can have a race in the, the IOP I give them um, some medication to lower that uh, one day 